Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of days back. I did a small uh, video shots, YouTube video shots video where I had mentioned uh, is it possible to disable cloud shell? So I had mentioned quickly in 15 seconds. So some of you basically dropped me a direct mail like, how do you basically do it? Can you show a demonstration? Uh, hence, thought let me do this part. So I'm planning to do also a follow up video on this. Basically, what are the security risks if you turn on or if you use cloud shell? in an organization so look out for those videos uh, in the future but today i'll just show you how can you disable cloud shell uh, for this you need to have an organization nodes folks if you don't have an org node you cannot basically uh, disable it so before i show the demonstration a quick shout out uh, i'm starting my batch 8 uh, if you are interested please drop me an email uh, happy to share more details on it now going back to the demonstration let me show how can i disable it uh, easily okay let's look into it all right i'm in my uh, gcp console where i have an organization node so if i have something like no organization i cannot do this folks so i need to have an organization node so if you are interested in how to create an organization node there are some videos which i have it in my members uh, stuff uh, members video if you are interested you can look into the members uh, section so for more details so before I disable it, I just wanted to show you. If I just click on uh, Cloud Shell, I should be able to see the Cloud Shell launches. Simple. Uh, so, if I have not opened the Cloud Shell for a long time, it's going to take a little bit time. So, it is opened up. So, this is the stuff. Awesome. Now, what I will do, uh, as I mentioned in my uh, shorts video, I had mentioned you need to go to admin.google.com. So here I have logged in into admin.google.com using one of the ID which I have basically. Now basically here I'm going to search for uh, console or cloud shell. So if I search for cloud shell, basically I'll get a setting. So this is the setting which I get where I can basically block for a particular user in my organization. My organization is basically this one. Uh, Learn GCP with Mahesh.com. So, organization node. So, or for a particular group, or if I say no, I don't want Cloud Shell uh, because of the security risks, you can basically uncheck this, folks. Uncheck and save it. Uh, and you will see a message that this is going to take a few minutes for it to reflect. So, we have done it. So, now that's it. That's the only thing, folks. Uh, now, let me go and click on uh, the Cloud Shell, and you should see a message. Cloud Shell uh, disabled via G Suite. Now, previously it, called, it was called as G Suite. Now it is called as Google Workspace. So, whether you have a Google Workspace or Cloud Identity, you will basically be able to do it. I don't have a uh, Google Workspace account, but what I have is a Cloud Identity. So, if I have configured Cloud Identity, I'll get access to admin.google.com. So, I can basically control this part. So, Done, folks. So this is how you can basically disable it. Now nobody in the organization will be able to launch Cloud Shell. Um, I really don't wanted to show this video, but because the reason is one of my favorite uh, service which I use is always Cloud Shell. So um, most of the day I spend time in Cloud Shell. But but this is for an organization who feels security is the most important thing for them. Basically, you can disable this. So that's the video which I wanted to share today, folks. Hope you like the video. Um, more videos on what are the security risks of having a cloud shell uh, in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.